My name is Frank DeMauro. I live in Landisville, New Jersey. And like many of you who are watching this at home today, I am outraged by the fact that the Gulf oil spill has been dumping oil into the ocean for over 60 days, and no one has been able to come up with an idea to stop it yet. So what I've done is come up with my own idea as to how I think um, we could stop the oil well in the Gulf. It's a very simple idea, but I believe that often the simplest ideas are the ones that work the best. Uh, what this is is a metal rod tube with a rubber diaphragm at the end of it. Um, in this case, what I've used is just a bicycle inner tube. Um, now, of course, for what would be done with the oil spill, um, this diaphragm would have to be much stronger and more industrial, but it gives you the, the idea and the concept of how it would work. Okay, what I have here is a pipe that simulates uh, the broken oil pipe that's under the ocean. And then what you would do is you would lower this from the top of the ocean from a boat. You would lower it down into the pipe. And as it's dropped down into the pipe, um, the, the weight of it would go into the oil well. Uh, but of course the oil would still continue to come out. And then once you get down to a certain limit, you would open it and you would fill it with um, either compressed air or maybe even uh, water, uh, which would not compress. Um, or salt water and you would expand it and you would effectively seal off the pipe and I'll show you actually how it works I'm using compressed air um, and you can see what happens so once you drop it down inside you would fill it and once you fill it this would take up the space within the pipe and it would seal it off okay so we can actually test it to see how it would work let me just let the air out And what I've done is um, I have a pump here that would simulate the oil coming up out of the well. And as you can see, there's your oil coming up out of the well in the ocean. You would drop this down inside as the oil is coming out. And once you get down inside, you would fill it. And that's it. As you can see, there's no more oil coming up out of the pipe. I've effectively capped it off by, by sealing it with the rubber diaphragm that's expanded inside the pipe. And once it's full, as long as it's closed, of course you can leave it like that and there will be no more oil coming up out of the pipe. All right, uh, thank you very much. And uh, I'd be more than willing to work on any additional modifications that would be needed to deal with the extreme temperatures and pressures that you find at 5,000 feet. But like I said, it's a simple idea and I think it works very well. Thank you.